One of Einstein's most famous equations is this one, E equals to mc squared. Now this is actually called the mass energy equivalence. So basically it's saying that if you have a certain amount of mass, that is the equivalent, well if you multiply it by c squared, speed of light squared, okay, so remember that's 3 times 10 to the 8, you'll get the energy equivalence of that. So the significance of this is actually saying two things. Number one, okay, you actually need energy, need energy to create mass, right? Or you can actually destroy mass to get energy instead. Now, the significance of this when combined together with the mass defect has led to a concept known as binding energy. So let's understand one thing. When I have a complete nucleus and I break it down into the constituent nucleons, Remember that the mass over here, mass of the nucleons, was greater than the mass of the nucleus. Let me just write that properly. And so it is unsurprising that there was some energy that needed to be injected into this to create the nucleons or to break the nucleus down. And so this is called the binding energy. The binding energy is the amount of energy required to break up a nucleus into its constituent nucleons until the nucleons are infinitely far apart. And so we can call this binding energy, well, it's simply equal to the mass that you have created, which is the mass defect times c squared. Now, alternatively, you can also think of it as going the other way. So if you have the nucleons and you use them, or, or they rather they recombine to form the nucleus, then in this case, you have destroyed mass, and so the binding energy has been released in this, in this case. But still, it boils down to the fact that the binding energy is simply the mass defect times c squared.